So the colours that I'm using are the Cerulean Blue Hue, Titanium White and the Thalo Green and a couple of mixes of them. So this one's dry and it looks great it looks as it was beautiful cells with the dripping of the paint coming around the cells creating that pattern so beautiful now what I wanted to talk about was you could see from the video um, that I would lightly go around the underside of this while it was upside down and I can't really do that hang on a second
just putting it back onto there. So I just put it back onto this old glue bottle. Um, so yeah, you could see that I would gently uh, run my finger or the paddle pop stick uh, around that bottom edge here. Now, the thing, to, the trick with that is, like, not to rush, um, just take that extra five minutes to sit there and watch, like, because this section here, stick, this section here may have dripped longer than this section here. So just keep an eye on that and if that was the case, you know, just a gentle, gentle touch going underneath. Now the reason I say gentle is because if you push too hard, now time to take it back off, you get this. I don't know if it's picking it up all that well. There we go. This is where the paint has been scraped away and the terracotta is shown through. So, but as you can see, if you're nice and gentle, that doesn't happen. This must have been a rough spot and that's what I did. So, yeah, I hope that helps. So it is just patience and a little bit of gentle, uh, gentle touch. You know, here's one of the little ones I did, the favourite. <laughs> Love it to bits. And yeah, so you can see the top, like very smooth. Uh, it's a little bit glossy, that's because I've actually finished this one. Um, but yeah, no bumpy rim because the difference with that also is when I first started, I thought I needed to wrap my finger around like that while it was spinning and try and coat with paint all the way to this rim for consistent, uh, color that might show over the dirt or whatever you use it for um it never fully worked out um you can see it's very patchy I and mean, this one is ryan's that he did uh yeah so very patchy so i wouldn't even try that again so that was trying to wrap my finger underneath as it spun and catch the drips and rub it underneath. But I would most definitely stick with doing it this way, as you saw in the video, and in a way that I've hopefully explained well enough for you. It's just that gentle touch around the bottom rim underneath. So, but definitely keep it off um, keep it off anything like for example finding this old glue bottle was fantastic so being able to go like that and having plenty of space to go around that bottom edge and even at the time I could spin it with my other hand as I was holding it so Ideally, I would suggest if you're going to be doing these pots and you don't want any anything that you have to work with afterwards, have something that lifts it up high. Um, if you have a Lazy Susan, it's great to use. It makes it so much easier. And just use that gentle, gentle touch, barely touching the rim with the paint as it goes. And that will give you that nicer, crisp edge that these do. Okay, I hope that wasn't too waffly. <laughs>
and understandable. So, all right, I'll leave you with that. I will finish off this one and add it with the rest of them. All right, remember, wherever you are and in every moment, be fabulous. Bye.